Hi, my name is Alicia Peszkowska and I am here to present a project that was designed to promote open cultural resources available online. This project was a part of a larger campaign that I did for a digital culture think tank based in Poland. It took place over last summer and was financed by a grant from the European Union's Intellectual Property Office. And let me start <laughs> with the fact that even though there is tens of thousands of uh, works um, from public domain, digitized and available online, it is very hard to measure people's overall engagement with these resources. Um, but what we do know uh, is that internet in its current shape and form is built in a way that does not encourage users to come across any valuable content online. And that is why when we were faced with the task to mainstream the knowledge about accessibility of online cultural resources and the freedom to use them, we have decided to experiment with the custom-made Instagram augmented reality filters. And a little bit of background about the project was that I took it over last spring when um, the pandemic was in full, in full sprung like it is kind of now and uh, we had to modify the project really fast to meet a very big KPIs our target audience was Generation Z and we were supposed to reach at least 80,000 of youngsters because the campaign was primarily designed to take part at the summer music festivals. But the music festivals were not taking place anymore and we didn't really have much resources to invest into huge paid collaborations. So we've decided to turn to Instagram because Gen Z uses Instagram very much and there is over 1 billion people engaging with Instagram per month and around four, 500 million that uh, watch stories every day. And uh, another thing was that the AR filters were just gaining a momentum and even though they were introduced in 2017 first, in 2019 Facebook used a special studio that allowed uh, users to create their own filters. And so we wanted to use that trend and uh, reach both people who would just play with the filters and just photograph themselves and friends, but also people who could potentially create filters and uh, yes, get creative with uh, public resources available online. And so we've invited um, two museums to take part in the project and one was the National Museum um, National Polish Museum based in Warsaw and the other one was the SMK, so the National Gallery in Denmark. Uh, they both have a huge following also on Instagram and we created these AR filters called Zero Waste Culture. And we've chosen two main paintings uh, to create the filters. The first one uh, was actually chosen by Mereta Sanderhoff, who is one of the organizers of this conference and it was still live. And this is how it translated into the filter. And the second one was called Strange Garden and it's by Józef Mehofer, a Polish painter. Um, and you can also work yourself into it, into the scene that it portrays. And it came from the archives of the National Museum in Warsaw. And that is how the second one looked on Instagram. And you could use both filters, both like for selfies, but also to create shots of people, of other people around you. And our main results have been um, over 146,000 views of the filter and more than 12,000 of downloads. And it, it was just for the first two months of the campaign. And in addition to the filters getting viral and also being promoted by our different media partners and by the museums, we also hosted a workshop, an online workshop, where we were teaching people how to create their own AR filters using public domain materials. So the workshop uh, we hosted uh, had almost 40, 400 people attending. And do I think that everyone who came in touch with, uh, with the filters um, actually understood that they were made out of public domain resources and what paintings those were? I don't think so. I don't think people that easily would understand what, what open glam actually means. But I think this is important for museums to contribute to the quality of the online debate where it's actually happening and contribute to its aesthetics. And if you want to check the filters, please check out this link and use the Instagram app. If you want us to share it, please tag the Open Culture Studio. And if you want to read more about the campaign, there is a link for that as well. And if you want to keep in touch with me, you can follow me on Twitter or reach out to me 
to my email address. Thank you very much.